Hey y'all, this is Dana. Welcome to my channel. I am back tonight with my next craft fair idea. Before I get going though, I've been watching the news. I know that the hurricane hit and I just want to let you know that if you were um, in the track of that hurricane, um, I hope that everyone is safe and sound. Um, and I hope that um, it passed you by and you don't have any damage to your home and everyone is safe and you're in our thoughts and prayers. So anyway, um, yeah, I know it's, it was going across the state of Florida last I heard and going up to South Carolina. So please be safe and let you and uh, just so you know that you're in uh, my thoughts and prayers. Okay, so what we're going to make is we're going to make the Christmas cup of tea. I brought, I made these last year and y'all let me tell you at my craft fair, they were the top seller next to my, next to my bowl koozies. These sold like hotcakes. And so anyway, I'm going to kind of use the same technique that I did for last year, but I'm making my pocket a little bigger and I think it's going to turn out much, much nicer. So. Um, the teas that I'm using, as you see here, I'm using these and I've got them off of Amazon. And so I got the Gingerbread Joy, Peppermint Cheer, and Christmas Tea. And um, yeah, so I think that um, they're going to be a great addition. This is the same one that I used last year. So I'm going to go ahead while I got this over here. I'm going to get out one tea bag. Now there's 20 in a box and I have three boxes. So that means I'll have 60 tea favors. That's all I'll make. The three, the three boxes is all I'll make. So let me kind of show you what I have, what I created. So this is what I've done. And um, so this is pretty much like the same kind of pocket like last year. But like I said, I've made it larger. I have added in a tea. Uh, uh, um, a honey stick, a little spoon, and I also added in a peppermint. Now, the, I have these few peppermints that came from Amazon yesterday, and so I'm going to use the ones that I still have, and I did see many people's messages about don't throw away those peppermints. Use them in peppermint bark or something, so thank you for the great idea. That's what I'll do. So anyway, the ones that are still whole, I'm going to go ahead and use them. So anyway, this is what it looks like, and it's super cute, super easy, and you can produce these out really, really fast. Now, if you don't do craft fairs or anything like that, then you know what? You can always use them. Um, you can always give them like as gifts to someone. They'd be great teacher gifts. They'd be great friend gifts. Add, them, add a mug with it. It'd be so cute. So there's a lot that you could do with these. So let me show you how I made these. I'm going to put those over to the side. So the paper collection that I am using is this one right here. I showed it on my video, I believe last night. Got this at Hobby Lobby. It was $9.99, but right now the Christmas stuff is half off. So I paid $5. It has 60 sheets and I have literally torn apart the whole pack. So I'm gonna bring you out just, just a little bit. Okay. Okay, so what I did, and like y'all, I took my, I took my paper trimmer and my paper, and I at lunchtime I ate my peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and I cut my paper. So I've already got all my papers cut, and I've cut them all at seven by seven. So let me see which one I want to use. I really like the snowman one. I'm gonna end up using all of them. I don't know why I do that, but you know, it, it is what it is here. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your piece of paper, seven by seven. Now, mine is only single-sided, and I thought, you know, it's not very cute when you have the little flap folding over, and it's white. So, I'll show you what I did. So, if you've never made these before, what you're going to do is you're going to take your paper, and from one corner to another, you're going to bring those together, and you're going to... Press that down, press that down. Just kind of use your bone folder, kind of smooth it out. And now what you're gonna do, you can use your grid on your mat if you like, or um, just so you can kind of see, kind of keep it even. Um, that's kind of what I do. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one corner and you're gonna make this almost like a diaper, okay? So I'm gonna add, bring that, and I'm gonna bring that point over to the side. I'm going to press that down. 
Now I'm going to take it and I'm going to I'm going to turn it so I can see what I'm doing here. But I'm going to take this one and it's going to go over here to this side. Okay. So now you got it like this. So this ends up being and let me measure it. It ends up being um, a little bit more than one, two, yeah, a little bit more than four inches or right around four inches in width. So my envelopes or my plastic clear bags that I'm going to be using to package these, it's a 10 by 10, or a, I'm sorry, a six by four. Boy, I was really off there. So anyway, this is what we look like. See, we got it like this, okay? So now what you're gonna need to do is this part actually, the ones I did last year, and y'all, everybody makes these. You fold it down. Well, that's not very pretty. So what I did is I decided once I fold it, I've got that crease. I'm going to fold it inward, fold this back out, and fold this out. And that way then it's just like this. Now last year I used my little glue dots and I really took the time to glue it and all that. But y'all, you don't have to do that. I think I'm going to put this one out like this. It's easier because I'm a right-hander. So anyway, I didn't have to do that. So what I thought I'd make myself a little easier is use my tiny attacher and this whole thing will stay together with one little staple. If you don't have a tiny attacher, they're really a great thing to have in your craft room. But if you don't have it, use glue, use tape, use whatever is good for you. So now, got a little pocket in here to put our teas in, and I've hidden the white part. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take an embellishment, and what I did is I, I made these, I made this part on my Cricut. So let me tell you what I did. And I actually had saved this from last year. So what I did is I typed out the words that I wanted and I took a two inch circle on my Cricut Design Space and I did a flatten and I made this a print then cut, okay? So then I did where I could do, I believe I can cut 12 on one paper, eight and a half by 11, because you have to put it through your printer. And I don't have like a big printer, mine's just eight and a half by 11. So anyway, you print them out and then you cut them out with your Cricut and then um, I used a scallop, which here's the scallop I use. It's a two and a half inch. And I just cut myself a, sal a scallop circle and then I just glued these on and that's how I got this. Now, if you don't have a Cricut, if you don't have a way to do this, you don't have to put these words on here. You can always cut circles, cut sc the scallop, do whatever you want, and maybe put a sticker in the middle or something like that. You don't have to do exactly like I did, but it's nice to put a little embellishment on here. Now, since this is red, I'm thinking, let me see which one I want to use. I did them in green and I did them in red. I think I'll use the green one just to give it some extra interest here. So what you're going to do is you're just going to glue this down. I am using my Barely Art glue tonight. I made taco soup for dinner tonight. It was so good. Made that in cornbread, and then I made my husband. He's been wanting some banana nut bread, and I had some some extra ripe bananas, so I made him some of that. And I just cleaned the kitchen, and I'm like, okay, now it's time for me to come in here because I wanted to get this done tonight. Okay, I got my glue. I'm gonna put this on here, center it. So I just want to make sure I get this as straight as I can get it. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm going to get it a good press it down. I want that glue to adhere. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put the I'm going to put the pin back on my glues because you guys know these glues they just they will just dry up in like a flash. It's crazy. Sometimes the pins are so tiny. Oh, okay, so now I've got this. Isn't that so cute? It just turned out darling. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your tea. You'll add your tea in. Okay. And then you're going to add, I'm adding a honey straw. Got my honey straws on Amazon. The 
this is what they look like. I'll link everything below. And then I'm going to add in a spoon. Ooh, and I just picked them up and I spilled them. But let me show you how I store my spoons. It's like this. I put them in like here, like these little photo things. And that way I can keep them. So I didn't have the lid all the way on, so let me put that back. Okay, but that's how I got my spoons. My spoons came from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so that this, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm using my peppermints, what I could, what I was able to use, and just pop this right in, and you have a cute, cute, cute tea favor. Okay, so now, to me, packaging is everything. Okay, so you, if you are selling your items, you wanna package them nicely. I like the real clear packaging. This is what I'm using. I get mine at Michael's, or not Michael's, Hobby Lobby. And these were $3.99. I have never seen them on sale. There's 25 that comes in a pack. And this is this size is a four by six, okay? But these are like over by the art stuff, like by the canvases and stuff. That's where I find them. So this is the kind I am using. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my favor that I've created and I'm just going to stick it up in my little clear bag. See how that fit perfectly? And now that I've got it up in here nice and pretty, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over, peel off the little clear strip, and I'm gonna try to pull this up and get that sealed in there. See, look at that, look how nice. Now, if you have watched my channel for a while, y'all know I'm not really big on toppers, but I kind of felt like these needed something. So, I just made on these just a one inch little strip of paper going across, and it just kind of gave it something. So that's what I'm gonna do with this one. So let me see. Now, out of all the papers that I cut today, these were like my scraps. Save all your scraps, because these are great pieces of paper that you can use to make toppers or tags or whatever you wanna do. Okay, so let me see which one I want to do. Let's see. My paper is the snowman. I kind of like that. Let me see, did it come in red? It didn't. See, this one says Merry Christmas. I really like that. I wish it would have been in red. It would have matched this. Um, you know, I think I'll try maybe a striped one. Okay. I think I'll go with the striped one. That'll be good. Okay, so what you're going to need is you're going to need a piece of paper two inches by four and a half. So I'm going to cut my two inches by four and a half. So I have four and a half. And by two. Okay, there you go. And then all you're gonna do is you're going to take my little thing over here. I'm gonna just take it. You can score it in half if you want, or if you just want to take it and fold it, go for it. I'm gonna press that down nice and crispy. And then I'm just going to take it and add it to the top. And I'm just going to kind of hold it in place. I'm going to use my tiny attacher. I'm going to just attach it on each side, just like this. And then what I did is I took some twine. As you see how I did these, I just took some twine. And you can put another little paper a little staple right there but you know what it's okay because I really want it because I want it to look good and you've got to have your straw your your honey straw in there so what I'm going to do is just take my twine I'm just going to wrap it around once and I'm just using this twine I got from Hobby Lobby okay 
bring it over there. And I'm going to tie this off. Now, you can use your glue. I've got my glue gun on. Use your glue gun and add a little dollop of glue underneath where the knot is. So we'll hold it in place. So I'm just going to shoot that glue up in there. And hold that down. And trim that off. So now we got a, now we have some little little trim there. So on this one, I utilized these little um, Christmas little holly with snow tips that I got from Hobby Lobby. But then I also have some little tiny bows. These are one inch bows. I got them on Amazon. So let's see. I might put a bow on this one and just try to decide which one I like the most. See, the little bow is cute. I don't know, you guys. The bow is darling, but I really like the holly leaf too. It's so cute. The bow, I think I'm gonna go with the holly leaf. I think it's really cute. Okay, so I think I'll go with these. Leave me a comment below and let me know if you thought I should stick with the holly leaf or if I should have went with the bow. But I like, I think this is so cute and be cute for you to add like a little to and from tag. If you'd like to do that as well. Okay, I'm going to add myself some glue. And I'm just going to kind of find a place to put this around that knot. Just hold it down. And there you go. Look at that. Isn't that so sweet? Look at that. It turned out so cute. And by using these crystal clear bags, it really, really makes it look nice. So now I have three. I've only got 57 more to make. So anyway, that is it. How easy is this? I really, really love doing the seven inch square versus a six inch to make these pockets, it gave it more room. When I had the six inch, whenever I'd put the stuff inside, I feel like because it got narrow at the bottom because it was a smaller paper, it would kind of make them push up a little bit and they wouldn't stay in. But look at these, they stay in perfectly. So that's it y'all. Let me know what you think if I should have used the bow or you think if you like the little holly leaf. I think the holly leaf is cute. They might both be cute. I might do both. But anyway, that's it. That is my little tea favors. I hope that you guys enjoyed this, and I hope that you'll give this a try. And um, yeah, so let's quickly talk pricing for these. Last year, I sold these for $3 or two for five. And y'all, I sold them for two for five. Sold like hotcakes. And you're still making some money. You know, you're still making money because, you know, you're not using but one sheet of paper and you've used one clear bag and you're using, I mean, you probably have put maybe 75 cents, maybe, in this whole thing. So you're making that, you're making a profit on these you know, and they're awfully fun to make. And as you see, they were real easy. Anyway, that's it, y'all. I hope you guys have a great Wednesday night and, um, I'm going to catch you in the next one. I love you guys, and thanks so much. Oh, and by the way, lots of new subscribers. Oh, so I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. And if you've been around, like I always say, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate it so, so much. Anyway, have a great day, y'all. Love you guys. Bye.